What's up YouTube? It's Jake from Backwoods Media here. I'm just polar line in my Skywatcher Star Adventure 2i. I got the SV Bonnie 102 ED hooked onto it. We're polar lined and tonight I'll take you through my process of capturing the Whirlpool Galaxy. So the first order of business is polar aligning the Skywatcher with the polar north of Polaris star. Then I go ahead and I focus my camera. And then after I get the focus done, polar alignment done, I will pull out my phone app, Sky Portal, and I will be looking for the Big Dipper which is in the constellation Ursa Major. Once I find the Big Dipper, I go to the handle of the Dipper, which is, I messed the names up, but it's like Al-Qaeda or whatever. So from there, I zoom in and I find the Whirlpool Galaxy. Then I'm gonna turn on my, I call it my red dot scope, and I'm gonna get myself pretty close. I'll have my camera turned on. So I'll turn my camera on and I'll look through my viewfinder and look at the stars. And with the stars from the Sky Portal app and the stars that I see in here, I can guide myself pretty close. Once I've framed up my shot, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a picture. A 3200 ISO, 3, ISO 30 second exposure. So we're going to go bring up that photo we just took and you can see where the galaxy's at now. But I'm going to take a picture with my phone. I'm going to edit it. Crop it in. Hit save. Go to astrometry.net, hit choose file, click on your files, click on your picture, hit select, hit upload. And by looking in the camera, I can see the galaxies towards the top right. And I'll be able to adjust, but just to make sure that that's the galaxy, we'll use this astrometry.net which will help plate solve for us and tell us where that galaxy's at. But the Whirlpool Galaxy is a very easy galaxy to see once you get it in the frame. So it is successful. We'll hit the go to results page. And as you can see, up here is the Whirlpool Galaxy. If we click the picture and hit galaxy, it'll take everything away and it'll show you the galaxy at the top right. And I can see that in my window. So what I want to do now is take notice of the bright stars, where they're located at. So when I go back to this screen, I can see where those stars are lined up at. I can go back to the picture. There's that star. So that star there, we want to get towards the middle of our screen. So we're going to go ahead. And we're going to fine tune to the left. And we're going to release the clutch on the Star Watcher. And we're going to go ahead, go in, delete the other photo. And take another picture. And then go get our intervalometer. And that is how I frame up the Whirlpool Galaxy and, and capture a picture of it. I'll go ahead, take about 200 light photos, and uh, then I'll get all my calibration frames, go in, stack them, and I'll show you the result.